Hello everyone, it's Boofy, how are you doing? And welcome back to Orwell. Uh, no, 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 take a look at the news. We, uh, we, we got that last time, right? So there was another bombing while she was being detained. Cassandra was being detained because of us. So she might be innocent after all, which I already figured uh, game. Why does it take so long to load this website? What what kind of internet connection are we on here? All right, breaking news: two dead after second explosion. Uh, explosives chart set of its. Uh, that's horrible. I know. Two dead, similar approach, same letter found. So these assaults are connected. And as uh, as if that wasn't enough already, Miss Watergate was in custody at the time, so that's her out of the picture, at least for this attack. I know. This complicates matters massively. So much for our simple test case. I need to speak to my supervisors, see how we are to proceed given these extenuating circumstances. You did good today. You can log off, get some rest by clicking the button on the top right of the desktop. Try and get some sleep. I have a feeling the next days are, next few days are going to be trying at best. All right, but let's let's read this first. Um, yeah, another G German folklore song. What is, what is this? Overview? What can we find here in Overview? Nothing. It was just, uh... Alright, so we do this then. All unprocessed data checks will expire. Yes. We have learned the following. A lot of things. Next day. A place where there is no darkness, which is on the surface of the sun, inside your fridge, because that's where the light goes when you turn it off in the kitchen. Welcome back. I hope you don't mind if we get started right away. We've got tons of work ahead of us. I met with my superiors and they wish to continue with the test case. They believe in the capability of Orwell to handle this. Oh, and you, of course. My superiors agree with me, based on the information you have already extracted, the activist group known as Thought is worth investigating. It seems that this Goldfels is an important member of Thought, so we now have clearance to consider them as a target person. Now that Goldfels is a target person, there may be new data chunks available in documents you have already accessed. Don't forget to go back and recheck your sources. Alrighty then, will do. So Goldfels. <laughs> Now we can, there, add your picture. That is you. So what else do we have? We got, uh, what again, Cassandra? Suspect was arrested in her flat. She willingly opened the door, cooperated with the arresting officer after having the warrant announced in her rights for that hers. Okay, so she, she cooperated. Uh, are thoughts still free? The thoughts are free. That's a German folk song. All right. So there's the letter. We are right, it seems. I immigrated to the nation. All right. So you are an immigrant. You are a German immigrant, even. An immigrant. Hmm. That's why I created this blog, right? So you're the owner of Thought. Those are all facts. An activist group with the same name as this blog. If Goldfels is the one who created the blog, perhaps he found it, or even was the leader of the activist group. My bay. All right, let's, let's go and check the headlines first. Connection between bonds and bombings evidence. Uh, the bomber that occurred yesterday seems to be connected against the other one. Letters received prior to the assault seem to support the suspicion. The meaning is puzzling. Uh, yeah, I understand some people jump. Okay. Oh. Special front page on the on the website of uh, the thing thingy. All right, let's go to what. Ooh, timelines. 
Heavy storms expected for the weekend. All right. Uh, what about this? Timelines and Rosen announce cooperation. Davenport siblings, owners of Timelines, announced major cooperation with software giant Rosen. Uh, okay. Aha! This one is new. I thoroughly believed we were able to capture minds. If only we could garner attention and thought as a group. And what we stand for. Seems my ambition was once against too much. After one and a half years, recruiting two of my students, arranging three demonstrations like the one held. Alright, so those are facts. Three demonstrations. Frankly and sadly, the answer to the latter is a resounding no. Wait. I feel obliged to ask myself where we stand. Have we reached our goal? What has been sacrificed along the way? In short, are we true to the initial goal that formed the group? The answer is no. We let ourselves be consumed by anger and hatred towards those we thought to do us wrong. Thoughts are free, but it doesn't know my mean they can attack. And I see my high aims might well be the cause for all the events of the past months. I feel responsible. Uh... So, reacts with hatred? No. Hinted at a troubled past? Hinted at a troubled past. Feels responsible? Yes. Feels responsible? Troubled past. We'll have to get to the bottom of this. Yeah. I will halt my active engagement. Okay. And uh, whatever active engagement means, still an interesting fact. And, and this is a thing. What now, Stalingrad? The same Stalingrad where a bomb just exploded? So he's a teacher there? You know what I think about coincidences? I won't repeat it. So far, the evidence suggests that Goldfels was a prominent lecturer at Stalingrad. Some of his students became involved in thought. Did he, like, recruit them for this cause? We need to identify those students. See who else is involved with the group. Uh, please reconsider. Guy heard there was only a goddamn cop. They had it coming for so long. It was messy. I know. All the way back to the thing I messed up organizing. Hell, look at the bright side. We made the news. This is what we want to do. What you? Okay, weirdo. We're talking to... Okay, hey, you. It's Cassandra again. Sorry about last night. I really should have come over. Is she responding? It's just that this client is massively influential. They bring a whole lot of exposure to the office. Been trying to get a meeting for months. Went rather well, so here's hoping. God, I'm such a stupid old man. He just talks about his job too much. I'm sorry. It's just such a big part of my life. Hello? Are you still upset now? She's in custody. She's not here. Cassie, can you at least answer me? If you don't, I like. Uh, I start to worry. You know what I'm like. Whatever. Memorial. All right, that is that. It's the page. Yesterday evening, an explosive device went off, killing a telling a student as well as a lecturer. Okay. Currently unavailable due to a representative, Professor A. Goldfels having. We got a new picture. Abraham Goldfels. So that's his full name. And then uh, Abraham it is. Well done. And then there's that. Former professor of media ethics. Did you notice the bombing location seems to be closely connected to thought there could be a pattern emerging thought has held three demonstrations yet there have only been two bombings which might imply well it's definitely a shot in the dark but we absolutely need to do everything we can to prevent another attack take a close look at the past of each member with thought find out the locations of all demos they have held that might yield a hint uh he was a journalist at der reporter of the most renowned German daily newspapers. He was also a chairman of the Global Media Ethics Congress. All right, 
it's a lot of information. Chairman of an ethical congress. Just the average run-of-the-mill terrorist trait. <laughs> ah, that's all of information about his gold fields. Only one other page could be indexed. Very strange indeed. I think the next course of action should be to look for other people of this thought group, like the students he mentioned. Alright, so he wrote a book. What do you say about that? He literally wrote the book. He sure did. Notable alumni. Catherine! No, I'm looking for Cassandra. Uh, headlines. First suspect in connection with assaults arrested. Woman arrested, so that's Cassandra. Attendee list. Media? Where are you? You're not here. No gold fells. All oh, right, because hello. Let's go there then. Media. Uh, no. Technology. No. There then. Media. Gold fells. So, oh, Lamont Becker, Maureen, there's a lot of students here. Juliet Carrington? We've seen his name before, haven't we? Right, she was a friend of Miss Watergate. Now, it also appears that she was a student of Abraham Goldfels. I think that's enough to warrant a report. Give me a few minutes. All right, we have authorization to investigate Miss Carrington. All right, so that opened up a new... A new person. Juliet. So we got a picture. You're a PR assistant at Rosentech. You were born then. You live in Farview. And there's some interests that you have. Hi, ah, you actually can dance and I got proof now. Still a bat? When was this? Because they... No. Is that really me? Gotta be careful around you. Great photo though, Who took it. Nice try, Just a magician never does <laughs> the tricks. Was kind of good. What? Every time I ask you out, you're a god in business, then you fall for freaking muffins. I haven't known that before. Sorry, maybe you need to spy me some more? Or to death? I got something for you. Oh no, my one weakness exposed for everyone to see. Just got out with me and explore Bonus Famous Nightlife. You got a message, Cassie. Need this recipe for my mom. You know, I'm not so keen on going out late night. Okay, so she dislikes going out. Care to spare me? It's okay. Engaged in torture. This is. I'm gonna disable this because that's that's just crap. Happy birthday, Harney! So good to have you back. To mark the occasion, you decided to update your profile on a family page. Hope you like it. Happy birthday. I would have took notice. Nobody cares. Nobody. You know, Cassandra and I just got to know each other at the protest. At f okay. So they got to know. She got to know her then. What is this? If one pisses off the government, also, this doesn't sound like the Juliet I know. Blah, blah. How come you care? Recently increased politically involved. Yeah. Right. First Miss Watergate, now her. Is there some sort of brainwashing going on? Seems like uh, there is. I want to go to this here. 
Vera Carrington. So basically, that's, that's her parents, I guess. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. June. Juliet. All right, February 14th. Favorite color is red. She likes playing the guitar. Okay, like uh, a joke as much as the next person, but her favorite color. Do you really think there's pertinent information right now? There's an active bomb right there. Could you please focus on that? Shut up. Let's kill a mockingbird. Fine. You know what? You never really understand a person until you consider things from his point of view. Until you climb inside of his skin and walk around in him. Harper Lee to kill a mockingbird. Actually read that one. Great book. So I should disable that and I should disable this then. She got parents. So those are connections. She studied at Stelligan. And uh, there's a conflict with an unknown data chunk. Single former member of a band. So is she single or not? This might be old news. Rosentech. Victor Rosen? Ten Commandments? What is this about? Get in touch? Aha! There you are. You got a phone number, work phone. Good work. The listener will also track incoming and outgoing telephone calls of numbers you have added. Uh, there's also a new picture there. Attendee, what, what's going on here? I don't want that. Listener. Aha. Welcome to Rosentank. This is PR assistant Juliet Carrington speaking. How may I be of sir? Hello, Juliet Carrington. This is Esther. You sound so official at work. Oh, hi, Mom. Is this important? You know, I can't take personal calls when I'm at work. I just wanted to check in. I'm sure you're home for dinner tonight. Actually, I'm ending out with some friends from work. Time for some button clubbing. And please don't. On the news, they said it would be advisable to avoid public places. They expect another bombing. Mom, I get that you're worried. You can't just sit at home with you every night of the week. It's exactly what those terrorists want us to do. Avoid public life. We can't give up our freedom like that. And please, you won't have much freedom left if you're dead. Mama won't die. How can you be so sure about that? I could just as easily be hit by a car on my way home to your lovely dinner. Don't say that. Just think. This ridiculous group has gotten you into nothing but trouble. What were they called? All right, geez, mom. I'm going to think about it, okay? Thank you, honey. Mom, I'm sorry, but I really have to go now. If I don't want Victor Rosen to personally fire me. I have to go. Sorry. Love you. Bye. All right. Victor Rosen is her boss. Uh, what what is this? Plans are gone on Bonds on a Friday evening. Lives with her parents. And heading out. Now to find her parents, etc. We can find that. Friday, Miss Carrington has plans to go out tonight. That information would normally be innocuous. But we know that she actively dislikes going out. People are truly creatures of habit. Maybe she really does want to go out. Seems a little odd. What is she really doing? Exactly. Um, there should be an address here. House in Molly Court, cozy little spot in far view. So that's where she lives. Funny, this is right around the corner from where I live. How is it funny? All right, so we got we got a lot of information. All oh, right, we still have that there. 
Um, but I'm going to investigate further next time. So thank you very much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, you can let me know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and most importantly, tell your parents about me. And I personally cannot wait to see you again next time. Bye-bye.